What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today we're going to be talking about the AKM322. Uh, you may remember my review I did on my last video where I talked about the uh, 222 version of this by uh, MIDI Plus and that it is the cheapest keyboard on Amazon right now. This is the second cheapest keyboard uh, on Amazon. The 222 is $35 and this one is $47. Uh, but you're getting uh, a little bit more uh, control and functionality uh, for the extra 12 or so dollars uh, that you're going to spend on this one. So let's take a look at what this offers versus the 222. So for the extra price, you have a whole lot more control on deck. You have the data encoder, you have three other uh, encoders and this is an endless encoder so it just kind of keeps going so you can probably use this to you know go through your arrangement or whatever uh, you have three other like you know rotary encoders that you can use and map we have octave buttons a tap tempo uh, a arpeggio uh, arpeggiator velocity um, uh, velocity you know selector you have a chord mode uh, and a reset button and then you have a set button which allows you to operate any of these advanced functions and then you have transport controls you also have like a volume slider and a actual physical pitch bin and mod wheel uh, on the back you just have a sustain pedal uh, and the little midi or usb mini import uh, port right there so i think that's pretty it's pretty dope for the price 47 bucks now it doesn't come with any software or anything like that but uh, it can be mapped uh, to use with any of your software that you have so uh, the key bed is just like the key bed in the 222 version of this this is just more keys you're talking about 32 keys uh, on this one uh, so it's cool but it's the same feeling it doesn't play well when you're talking about like if you wanted to do a run like like that run It's, it's not the, the key, the way the keys are made doesn't make it good for like doing runs. But if you're doing like one shot stuff, you're in a good place because you can play like one shot stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's good for that kind of stuff, uh, but it won't fare well for like really trying to play it, play it, because the velocity curve is uh, a little too sharp for that, uh, and the keys are a whole lot more stiff uh, than that. Now, maybe over time, it'll do better after you maybe break it in, but off out the box, it's just not as playable as I would like for it to be. But again, it's 47 bucks you kind of get what you pay for but even though it's cheap and the keys aren't well there are some things with this that really caught my attention that uh that are in some of the more expensive boards um that make this this thing kind of worth the buy um the arpeggiator mode so i can turn that on by pressing the button right and then i can use this tap tempo Then you can change the modes by hitting the set button and maybe I want to go uh, down instead of up, you know, or random. You know what I'm saying? So you can change that all right here from the, you know, advanced mode just by hitting set up and choosing here under art mode. Then you got your art time that you can change and all of that stuff like that. Uh, and it's also got a scale mode that you can use or what have you uh, in here that's pretty cool. Uh, now, uh, outside of the art and scale mode and all of that, you have a velocity selector that when I turn this on, everything plays at full velocity. So that's cool because if you're, you know, like maybe playing some drums, you want your drums like some like some hip hop drums, not like an acoustic kit, but like some hip hop beat drums. If you're doing that, you want them those samples to play at um, full velocity instead of like, you know what I mean, hitting them hard. And those that are beat makers know what I'm talking about. Why having a velocity button right there that you can hit and get full 
127 velocity is uh, really dope. So uh, you also have a chord mode, one touch button right here. So it's it's got a lot of little advanced features right there uh, that kind of um, uh, that kind of make it worth its uh, its weight uh, and what it does or what have you. So the other thing I wanted to show you is that they actually have a software that you can download from the MIDI Plus website here that actually has um, the gives you the ability to create uh, your own you know mapping schemes. You can change the CC value. You can change it from CC to program change. All of those different things like that, uh, from the knobs to the play buttons, uh, all of that stuff like that. You can even change your, um, you know, art mode and scale mode and all of that from here, and then save and export and reset all of those, um, all of those parameters right there uh, on the software. So I think that's pretty dope that you can you can you know go in there and edit that, and you can get that once you buy it. You just go on the MiniPlus.com website click on support and you'll see it down in the list of softwares to download. So uh, other than that, outside of that, this is a pretty cool controller, 47 bucks. Uh, the key bed leaves a whole lot to be desired. I'll be honest, but that's coming from a guy that plays piano, a guy that has big hands. Maybe if you got some little hands or if you're getting this for a child, I wouldn't get it for a child to learn how to play piano on. Don't, I know people will ask that in the comments. No, I wouldn't get it for that. Uh, but uh, I would I would recommend it just for something on the go, travel, stick it in your bag uh, and keep flowing. Uh, it's, it's really good for that. It's got, it offers a lot of control, a lot of functionality in a tight, small, inexpensive package. And again, it's the second cheapest keyboard on Amazon right now. Uh, so, uh, you know, you can take that for what it's worth. Now, if you decide that you want to purchase this after watching this review, there is an affiliate link down in the description. It helps out this channel when you when you uh, use that link. It helps me keep buying like little keyboards and buying things. And I'm, I'm eventually going to be buying some bigger keyboards full-size 88 keyboards and things like that to do reviews on. So I really appreciate you guys for using that link, the ones that use that to support the channel. So I appreciate you guys hanging out, doing all those things like that. Uh, hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment below. Let me know how things are going in your life. I like to talk to you guys. I try to reply to every comment and all that good stuff like that. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a part of the family. And we'll talk to you guys on the next video. I'm out. Holla at your boy.